fact, he's determined that uh, the Lord began the creation on uh, October 23rd, 4004 B.C. at uh, uh, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time? <laughs> Rocky Mountain Time. It wasn't daylight savings time, was it? Because the Lord didn't make the sun until the fourth day. That is correct. Now, that first day, was that a 24-hour day? The Bible says it was a day. Yeah, but there was no sun. Uh, I mean, how could you tell? The Bible says it was a day. Yeah, but a literal day, a normal day, a 24-hour day? I don't know. Well, what do you think? I do not think about things I do not think about. Well, do you ever think about the things you do think about? <laughs> Isn't it possible that that first day could have been 25 hours long? There was no way to measure it. No way to tell. Could it have been 25 hours? It is possible. Ah. Oh. So you interpret that the first day recorded in the book of Genesis could be of undetermined length. I merely wish to state that the day referred to is not necessarily a 24-hour day. It could have been 25. It could have been 30 hours. It could have been a month or a year or a hundred years. For 10 million years. I protest. This is not only irrelevant.